Hi friends, in this updated video, I'll be covering every single step you'll need to take to open an interactive broker's account. From registering an account, how to fund it, how to request for trading permissions, and finally, help you compare the best fee structure for your investment journey. There's gonna be a lot to be discussed, but don't worry, you can always jump back and forth to the timestamps that apply to you and I'm sure you'll be able to open your account without much issue. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So to kickstart the entire process, you can use my affiliate link down in the description box below and that will redirect you to the official Interactive Brokers website based on your current location, regardless where you are in the world. Then straight away, click open account on the top right hand corner of the page and then click start application. You can proceed to create a username and password. Pretty straightforward, easy stuff. And I highly, highly recommend you to write this down somewhere or perhaps lock it in your notes app. Trust me, we tend to forget all these things very easily as we grow older. You know, I can relate. And for the country, choose a country where you are from, not where you are currently, but the country in your national identity card. And since I'm Malaysian, I choose Malaysia. But of course, if you're not from here, choose your own country or the country you are residing in, then click create account. You will then get this message telling you to check your email and confirm it. So pop over into your email in another tab and click on the verify account button. And you'll be redirected to this page where you can begin by selecting your account type. There's individual, join, and retirement account three types individual means you are opening an account for yourself joint account means you are opening a joint account that can be owned by two or more individuals for example between you and your husband or your wife and then the third one that's retirement accounts which are designed mostly for certain western countries that can take advantage of the traditional retirement accounts like iras Roth IRAs, 401k, etc, etc. But for most of us, let's keep it simple. If you're opening this account for yourself, just take individual and proceed to the next step. So okay, page one about you. Here you will just need to fill up your basic information like your full name, address and mobile number into the respective fields. If you're not sure about how to break up your name in the correct convention, trust me, this is a huge hurdle for many people. You can follow this reference as a general guideline. Make sure your full name matches your bank account and your national ID because this will be cross-checked later on. And I also need to highlight this for you. Make sure you enter the same address on your national ID. And even though some of us may be renting somewhere in a different city than our hometown, do not put that address in. Again, just follow the one on your card or your document. And for the three boxes below, I just leave them blank. Phone type, that will be mobile for your phone number. And if you are from Malaysia, input your number following this particular format. There's no need to put the country code since the country is already selected for you. Now you can scroll down to your personal information. Enter your date of birth in the prescribed format. Marital status, which means you are married or not. And number of dependents, meaning how many kids you have with you. Tax residency country is what country you pay your tax to. In my case, I work in Malaysia and I pay tax to the Malaysian government so it would be Malaysia for me. Whereas tax identification number or short for TIN, TIN is also known as your income tax number. For Malaysians, it will be your nombo cukai pendapatan which you can find on your Borang B or Borang BE tax form. You can download this from the LHDN website and it should look something like this. I'll put a pop up on the screen for you. But if you are not paying any income tax because you are probably a housewife or a student or you just never applied for a tax account before, then you can untick the I have a tax identification number box right below, which basically tells the system you don't have a tint. And it will then ask you to choose the reason for that. But to be real, none of the options really matter because Malaysia doesn't have a tax treaty with the United States. So there's no tax benefit you will be losing here. But if you are from a country that is listed here in this webpage, you will need to consider the option you pick 
because it may or may not affect you in terms of reduced withholding tax etc etc but don't worry if you don't understand any of this you can always change it in your account settings in the future but just as a good practice i always tell people this if you're already paying tax and you have a tin i highly highly recommend you to put them in just to save yourself from any hassle in the future so moving on we have identification you should already know what to do over here just choose your country of residence Malaysia here for me and NRIC for document type and fill in your IC number and beneath that we have employment and I would highly recommend you to choose employed because that will be deemed as the most stable income option and as for the disclaimer box question below just choose no now proceed to fill in your basic employment details and you can then move on to the next part source of wealth so income from employment should you know by default already be ticked if you have disclosed that you are employed in the previous section or you can pick whichever best applies to you and the last part of this page is your security questions which consists of three questions and three answers and as i've mentioned earlier do write this down along with your username and your password for future reference your future self will thank you because interactive brokers will need this for verification purposes for a lot of matters and if you don't remember your answers you will then be denied access to a lot of requests so click continue at the bottom and you will get this pop-up message mobile phone configuration it says that a confirmation code was sent to your phone number you know the one that you inserted in the about you page earlier and it may take a couple of minutes so be patient the message will look something like this i'll put it over here for you so enter the code and then click submit then you'll be asked to do a security check similar to the ones you see online everywhere to prove that you are not a robot i've read online that some people may face an issue with this so if you find yourself stuck on this page and you know unable to submit try clearing your browser cache or change the browser you are using sometimes safari can you know can be a pain in the crack so maybe try google chrome but if this issue still prevails just try to submit and just keep the page open wait about 15 minutes and the submission should go through if your address cannot be verified by their system you may get this pop-up asking to confirm your address you can double check if you have added something by mistake but if all looks good just click the continue using this information button on the bottom left so the next one page two it's time to configure your trading account for account type there's three types cash margin and portfolio margin for all intended purposes choose cash if you have no idea what they mean i wouldn't recommend you opening a margin account if you are just beginning trading or investing but basically margins allow you to borrow money with an interest rate so you can trade with way above the amount you have deposited into your trading account sounds good but at the same time it is also super super risky and dangerous if you don't know how to utilize it properly so you know just avoid it completely for now if you gain a whole lot of experience and you wish to broaden your horizons in the future then you can always change it later on not a problem at all and for the seasoned traders wondering over here interactive brokers actually offers the lowest margin financing rate in the market but for now just start with a cash account and you should be good to go in fact i have been using a cash account myself since day one until today income and worth you can fill them in accordingly in us dollar worth if you don't know what to put over here you can just follow the options i've selected for you here again no one will really check the numbers unless you you know entered a sky high number so it's okay to just follow suit here just make sure your net worth is more than your liquid net worth again i sound like a broken record but if the number you choose is way too high interactive brokers may come knocking and ask for proof of your income all right as for investment objectives just choose growth if you want to mainly deal with stocks and ETFs, which is mainly what i do as well the other options will affect your permissions to trade financial derivatives like options and futures but of course again you can always request to modify this later on now we have trading experience and permissions you don't have to choose any additional products so just leave that blank for stocks you can just follow what i've put over here again don't worry 
no one's going to check your trading experience. My personal recommendation is to not let them know that you have zero or no experience, else there will be a lot of restrictions and limitations on what you can do with your brokerage account. And you can also add more countries to the bottom add button if you want to include say London Stock Exchange, then you can select the United Kingdom. But if you want to include large and matured markets like Ireland, Japan, the UK and Singapore, Hong Kong, etc. You can always request to add those options later on in your account settings. And underneath that, we have regulatory information. Just choose no for both statements. The Stock Yield Enhancement Program. Only tick the enroll box if you want to participate in the short selling and loaning your stocks. If you don't know what I've just said, it's not a big deal. So you can just leave it for now. Cause just like everything else, you can always change it later whenever you want it. And lastly for this page, how did you hear about us? Simply choose any. But if you heard about them through Z Invest, then choose social media, then click continue. Now they will ask you to confirm your tax residence. Most of the information like your name, country of citizenship and address will automatically be filled from the about you page. So go through the details again just to make sure everything is in place. As for the treaty benefits qualifications, again depending on your country, if it's here, choose it. If it's not just like me from Malaysia, I will just tick the box of I do not qualify for US tax treaty benefits. Certification, just choose yes for both of them. And at the very bottom, sign the form by retyping the accepted signature, then click continue. Now, page 3, we have review and sign agreements. Nothing really to do over here, so just read through your details again and scroll down to tick all the boxes and sign at the bottom once again following the accepted signature and then click continue. Some of you might or might not get this pop-up message that will show you that they need more information to set up your account. Don't worry, just click continue application. You will then get a specified QR code pop-up prompting you to scan it with your mobile phone. Once done, you'll be brought to this dark blue UI asking you to scan your identification card. And after that, they will prompt you to take a selfie for further verification. So make sure your face is fully shown and snap that beautiful selfie. And you should ideally get this green check once everything is quickly approved. So you can now go back to your desktop and it will show that they are processing the documents you have just shared to them. And this really doesn't take long. So once the loading bar is completed, Complete, you will see that Interactive Brokers has received your information and will proceed with your application. If not, you can always contact Interactive Brokers to assist you manually through email. And before you ask, yes, you can now safely leave this browser page. So now you are done. All you have to do now is wait for this email stating that your account has been approved. It took me about 3 hours to get this email, but normally it would take less than 24 hours on average. Now you got your brokerage account open or you are waiting for it to be approved, you can actually start putting money into it first because a brokerage account is just an empty account if there's no money in it, right? There are a ton of options to choose when it comes to funding your interactive brokers account and depending on where you are from, your available options will differ quite a bit. But for most of us, the most commonly available and also dare I say the easiest option to fund your interactive brokers account is through the WISE multi-currency account which you can get one open very quickly using my link down below and enjoy a huge discount on your first international transfer. So feel free to use it. If you're asking why we need WISE, well, this is because Interactive Brokers only accepts a select few major currencies like Australian Dollar, Canadian Dollar, Euro, Great Britain Pound, Hong Kong Dollar, Japanese Yen, etc. And unfortunately, Malaysian Ringgit is not among them for the default funding options. But with WISE, that completely eliminates the barrier because now you can fund your account using more than 40 different currencies. So jumping back to WISE, you will need to have a currency balance as you can see over here. But if you don't have one, don't worry. Just click here on the open tab and choose open balance. You can open any currency balance because interactive brokers will accept a wide range of currencies as I've just mentioned earlier. But in this case, I'm using my local currency, Malaysian Ringgit to fund my interactive brokers account through WISE. 
So if your Y's account is new, you will probably have no money in it. So you can first fund it by clicking this add button over here. And Y's will then ask you how much you want to add into your account. So go ahead and add in any amount you want. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to reload about 300 ringgit and pay with Malaysian ringgit and then continue. Paying with. There are a few options that we can choose from over here, but we're going to go with pay with online banking since it's the most straightforward and convenient at least here in Malaysia. But for those of you from other countries, you might even have faster options that will show up over here. So feel free to proceed with whichever option that is the most convenient for you. So let's continue with the payment and it will then ask you to choose your sending bank. This is pretty straightforward. Any bank will do really. I just choose CIMB Clicks because it's my main sending bank in Malaysia. And just continue to pay through the standard online banking process just like how you would when checking out on your usual online shopping platform and there you go the 300 ringgit i reloaded is now in my wise malaysian ringgit balance within seconds and best of all it's all free so once that's settled and you have gotten your interactive brokers account approved you can log into it and you should be redirected to this page first select the currency you want to deposit i choose malaysian ringgit myr and click on the transfer button on transfer from wise balance box an interactive brokers will then prompt you to log in to connect and give access to your wise account in order to link it so give access and there you have it. You will now be able to find your Interactive Brokers account straight from your WISE account. So let's quickly transfer that 300 ringgit into my Interactive Brokers account. By simply punching in the amount over here, you can see that I will be getting about 61.96 US dollars in return after a small fee of about 3 ringgit 89 cents for WISE. And it will also tell you the estimated time of arrival of that amount in Interactive Brokers, which is in this case, Friday, February the 16th. But from my experience, it shouldn't take more than 24 hours for this to be reflected in your Interactive Brokers account. You will then be asked to review and confirm your deposit. So double check that everything is correct and then proceed. Interactive Brokers will also ask for a reason for this transfer. So just select any one of them because really it doesn't really matter in my case i select pay for goods and services so enter your wise password let it load and you're done you now have your us dollar cash funded in your interactive brokers account and you can use it immediately to buy any us stocks and etfs the same applies for any other stock market just change it at a step before you transfer the money from wise to ibkr for example sing dollar for the singapore exchange or Hong Kong dollar HKD for the Hong Kong exchange, etc, etc. You get my point. So now that you have gotten your Interactive Brokers account approved and funded, you can now start officially logging into requests for two very important trading permissions. The first one is fractional shares trading, which basically allows you to buy stocks or ETFs at a size that is smaller than one unit per trade. Very simple, at the top search bar, just type in fractions and you'll get the trade in fractions option. Click on it and you will land on this page where you can review your trading permissions. Make sure all global and global trade infractions are selected. Then click continue. And just like before, sign off with your accepted signature and your request will then be submitted. And it should take less than 24 hours to be approved. And next, the second trading permission you will want to request for is your financial markets. Again, we go back to the home page and top search bar, type in permission and select the first option request trading permissions here is where you will add the markets and products that you wish to trade for your account i will show you with stocks but you can do this with other products as well for now i have hong kong singapore uk and us trade selected if you want to add more simply tick any additional markets you want you might have to sign off something but it's pretty simple. So when that's done, scroll to the bottom and proceed with continue and you'll be asked to review trading permissions. Just click continue and that's it. And just like the fractional shares trading permission, this will also be approved within 24 hours. And last but definitely not the least important, we have Interactive Brokers pricing structure. In case you are not familiar, Interactive Brokers offer two very different tiers of pricing structures, tiered and it can be quite 
well very confusing especially when you are just starting out so i will do my very best to simplify and streamline them for you so to help you visualize it every time you place a trade on the platform you got to pay a fee which will include commission fees plus a bunch of other small fees which can add up to quite a bit more on that in just a bit so here's the difference between tiered and fixed with the tiered pricing structure you will have to pay all of these fees so if your trade volume grows so do your fees will grow as well but with the fixed pricing structure you only got to pay the commission fees the remaining fees will then be absorbed by interacting brokers on your behalf hence making it quote unquote cheaper for you overall if you trade in a large volume and here's a snapshot of their pricing comparison which you can also find on their website in terms of fees per share it is definitely cheaper on the tiered structure you can see on the second row minimum per order that it is much cheaper with 35 cents minimum as compared to a one us dollar minimum per trade with a fixed pricing structure but that changes when you look at the third party fees if you are on the tiered pricing structure you have to pay regulatory fees exchange fees clearing fees and pass through fees that's a lot but if you're on the fixed pricing structure again interactive brokers will absorb those miscellaneous fees for you so i'm sure you have a burning question so zed which one do i pick or which is cheaper my answer to that is it really depends you see if you're someone that wants to trade in a large volume like penny stocks or say 1000 apple shares every now and then or ten or hundred thousand dollars worth of bonds every single trade then go for the fixed pricing structure but if you're trading in a much smaller volume for example five nvidia shares or 10 apple shares or 20 tesla shares then go for the tiered pricing structure now of course i know my words may not be the most reassuring you want data right so here's some data for you one of the reddit member actually asked this exact question on interactive brokers which is cheaper tiered or fixed pricing structure to which another reddit member replied with this graph perfectly showing the price versus volume comparison for both fixed and tiered using the examples of trading on new york stock exchange or the nyse aka the us stock market and as you can see here the green bar which is the tiered structure is almost always cheaper than a fixed structure when it comes to trade sizes of 100 500 1000 2000 5000 10000 and onward but at a 50000 trade volume mark the tiered structure begins to overtake fixed structure pricing the blue bar by quite a bit and as the trade volume continue to increase the gap in prices becomes bigger and bigger and bigger making fixed structure cheaper than the tiered structure if you want to have a look at the data yourself i'll leave a link down below for you guys and interestingly almost all the comments on the reddit trade below this discussion have people saying that they went for tiered and you know it worked well for them but ultimately if you are totally new to investing and just plan to trade a couple thousand dollars or less most of the time then i would just really recommend the tiered pricing structure for all intended purposes and frankly that's also my preference since day one but anytime anytime you feel like switching your interactive brokers account from the fixed pricing structure to tiered or vice versa you can do so in the interactive brokers homepage just like requesting permissions just go to the search bar and type in pricing and select ibkr pricing plan here's where you choose the plan you want and before you ask by default your account will be set on fixed pricing structure so you know what to do right after your new account is approved so once you have done choosing your option just click continue and you should receive this message usually it will take about one business day for the effect to take place and there you have it you should not be able to freely navigate interactive brokers website and begin your investing journey if you have any questions you can always comment down below and i'll answer all of them remember to smash that like and also the subscribe button down below share this video with your friends and family who want to begin trading and investing and you never know you may help them but in the meantime i also have lots of other videos and tutorials about the interactive brokers trading portal and also their mobile app so if that's something of interest to you feel free to check it out over here see you over there